Getting a bad review can be so frustrating because we just immediately feel that the world has ended, that this one bad review is going to break our business. So today I wanna to talk about how to handle a bad review in your photography business. Hey, boudoir photographers. Are you ready to be totally booked out with high paying clients? I'm Tracy Lynn and I went from side hustle photographer to running a million dollar boudoir photography business working just 30 hours a month. That's right, just 30 hours a month. On this podcast, I tell you how I did it and how you can too. Hey there and welcome back. I'm recording this on a Saturday morning. Next week we are going to be out of town and I just wanted to get all of this done for the month of May so that I could be ahead of schedule. So if you're watching the YouTube video, see me in a sweatshirt and glasses, that's why. So I just want to go ahead and dive into this episode and I just want to say I totally understand how disheartening it can be when you get a negative review. Right now, I haven't had one on my Google business account, but I've definitely had one through email. And I get that it's really frustrating. And it's just like, we immediately feel that the world has ended, that this one bad review is going to break our business. Remember, it's inevitable to get a bad review. We're all going to have one eventually, whether it's a public review or behind the scenes. So regardless of where it's posted, it's important to respond constructively and professionally to criticism. As I built my business, my skin grew very thick. I used to hate criticism so much, but building a business, I realized that I needed to be open to it in a way that I never was before. Now, I realize this criticism isn't something that you're going to enjoy. I totally get that. When you get criticism, accept it with an open mind, even if you didn't actually ask for it. So I want to talk about how to handle a bad review in your photography business. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. <clears throat> the first thing that I want to talk about is the impact of reviews. So they are very powerful, especially in the boudoir space. Most clients right now are finding photographers through Google business profiles at this point. If you want to learn how to set up your Google business profile, I actually have a YouTube video I can link in the comments or I'll link it in the show notes. Duh, I've been <laughs> recording too many uh, <laughs> reels and YouTube videos. Anyway, most women, when they're looking to book a boudoir photographer, they are looking through the reviews, meaning that good reviews are crucial for booking. And the more good reviews, the better. They can affect your reputation, they can affect client trust and business growth as well. A bad review will definitely affect your booking rate, so we need to avoid those at all costs. Just like many of your clients aren't gonna to want to give full permission to allow you to share their images, many aren't gonna to wanna to leave a Google review because their name can be visible to the public. So just be very aware of that before you go asking for reviews and don't have your feelings hurt if somebody doesn't leave a review. It's not that they didn't love your services, it's that they probably don't want their information public. The second thing that I wanna focus on today is initial steps after receiving a bad review. The first thing I want you to do is pause, process, and plan. Now, it is so important to take a moment to breathe and not respond instantly. I get that your first instinct is to be upset. I am always upset if I have some sort of bad review or even an email where my client is not exactly super happy. So I understand that you might be upset, but I want you to take a step back and just give yourself some time. I think we all know that we shouldn't respond when we're upset, right? So the first thing is to take a minute and calm down. And then we want to process. First of all, take the review seriously. Read through it. Think about it. Don't just go off the deep end saying that the client is wrong. So ask yourself, are there any truths to this review? And where could you improve? So for example, I had a client who didn't like the way that I set up the actual album. I had to order another album costing myself an extra 50 or $150. I ended up changing my process to include proof approvals after that particular client because it was a learning experience for sure. Because if I would have had proof approvals set up prior to that, I would have sent her the proofs, had her 
approval in writing and this situation would never have actually happened. So once you've calmed down, then it's time to formulate a professional calm response that acknowledges the feedback, offers a solution, and clarifies any misunderstandings. You can leave this on the Google review and then contact a client by yourself, like one-on-one, -on -one, if it makes sense. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. The third thing that I want to talk about is actually responding to the review publicly. Some of the photographers I work with don't respond to any Google reviews except for the bad ones because they didn't realize that they should be responding to reviews. On the other hand, myself, I respond to every review because I want to show potential clients that they that I'm responsive and committed to client satisfaction. So I personalize every single response, but I especially would, if I had one, personalize a bad review. Make sure that you are avoiding defensive or overly detailed responses about the situation. I always tell my clients that they don't need to justify anything. Just stay professional, explain your side, and make sure that you are committed and you show that you are committed to your client's satisfaction. Most importantly, stay professional. I cannot say that enough. Do not let your emotions show on your Google responses. Hey, I write a newsletter every single week where I cover photography, business, marketing, strategy, industry happenings, client wins and celebrations and so much more. You can join today at rebrand.ly slash newsletter to get ongoing advice and help with running your boudoir business and getting the freedom you deserve. Make sure you click the link in the show notes. Now, the fourth thing that I want to talk about is learning and growing from the feedback. You need to know how to use constructive criticism to improve your business practices, your customer service, and even your photography skills. Listen to what's in the review analyze what you can take from it. So for example, that client that I was talking about earlier, when she told me that she didn't love the album design, I went ahead, learned from that criticism, ordered a new album, made that right and everything. But then I went ahead and implemented a practice into my business so that this wouldn't happen again. So make sure that whatever you're doing, when you get some sort of criticism, Make sure that you go ahead and implement something that you can use in the future so this doesn't happen again. The other thing you can do is, of course, seek out education. There's continuing education, mentorship, joining professional networks, courses, programs. Those are methods of growth. So early in my business, anytime I had any client issues, I brought them straight to my business coach to learn to handle them professionally and effectively and in the best way possible for my business. I really leaned into having that coaching in my back pocket so that I knew how to handle these issues in a professional way. Now my coaching clients come to me with any of these issues. Most of my photographers that work with me have, for example, I had one client who I had one photographer who had a client who wanted to reschedule her session over and over and over again. And so together we came up with a very professional response and dealt with that issue so that this wouldn't continue to happen with her other clients. And since then she hasn't had an issue. So let's talk about some proactive measures to minimize future negative reviews. So first of all, let's set some clear expectations with clients beforehand. One thing that most of my clients have told me is that they feel very prepared, even though they realize most of my boudoir business, these are my boudoir clients, they realize that my business, my boudoir business is very automated, yet they still come to the session feeling very prepared and like I've contacted them, I've talked to them as much as I needed to and as much as they needed in order to come to the session prepared. They end up coming to the session knowing what's going to happen and when they know each and every step because it is laid out for them. And they're not surprised at all at the price list and they are fully prepared to spend the money on their images because I have laid it out on the website and in all of my marketing. I've set those expectations and that's what's important. Set those expectations before they walk into your studio so that you can avoid those negative reviews. From my experience, negative reviews typically come from clients who were shocked during the session. Maybe it's pricing, maybe it's how the session was going, but they were shocked during the session 
and that's what led to the negative review because they weren't fully prepared. The value of following up like surveys, feedback forms, post session, that is so important. This will help you catch and address any issues before they turn into public reviews. So if you wanna take this a step further, then you can do a follow-up survey or a feedback form after a session. Sometimes your clients just want to express what they felt or what they didn't expect during the session so that for future reference, you know what they weren't fully prepared for. The only place that they feel like they can do this is in a review, so that's where they leave that negative review. So what you wanna do is be proactive Ask for the feedback in a form so that you can catch and address those issues before they become a public review. Now, if you only get one thing from this episode, I do want you to understand that constructive criticism is something that you need to learn to handle in business. It was hard for me at first, but I did eventually understand that not everyone is going to like everything about your business. Not everyone is going to like you, unfortunately. I did hate that part. I hated it so much at first, but I have grown a thicker skin over the years. So maybe you need to take a step back from that review and maybe take a step back from your business for just a little bit, come back with a clear head and an open mind maybe the next day. Then you can look through that criticism with an open mind. So let's be honest, sometimes a review is coming from someone who is just negative for no reason. So make sure that you can distinguish between constructive criticism and just baseless negativity. Constructive criticism is something that you can actually improve in your business. Negativity, like that would be a client who is just unhappy. They're just an unhappy person in general. So most of the time you can actually tell the difference. Something else that's very important is maintaining your mental health. When clients are negative or you have a rough week, then it's easy to get down on your business, feel stressed, and just want to totally give up. You're going to have weeks like this, so just make sure you push through. Don't give up all that work that you've worked so hard for. Instead, I want to recommend that you focus on the positive aspects of your business, the things that you love, like showing women how beautiful they are, seeing your artwork in prints, realizing you're building the business of your dreams, Look at your bank account and see the freedom you've created for yourself. When you're having those bad days, make sure you're looking at the positive. So are you ready to create the kind of business that allows you to get these amazing reviews and have them coming in like crazy? The kind of business that also gives you the freedom that you've wanted in your business? If so, Six Figure Simplified is the program you need to check out. It's a group program where I hold your hand and help you build the business of your dreams. My photographers inside are growing their business at an insane rate while still having the freedom that they've always wanted to spend with their families. They're creating time and money freedom to live their lives the way that they want. So if you're ready to change your life and business for the better, be sure to DM me at 6FS on Instagram. You can find me at It's Tracy Lynn. We can chat, no pressure. Let's see if this is right for you. This group program is my baby because I've seen the results it's helping photographers achieve. So I'm going to link my Instagram and the program in the show notes so that you can check it out. Thank you for listening to this episode of Sustainable Freedom with Boudoir Photography. Please be sure to rate and follow so that you never miss an episode. They drop every Thursday and they're always full of super actionable information for you to apply right now in your boudoir business. Until then, make your next shoot your best shoot.